let's figure out let's figure out the number of photons uh, leaving a hundred watt bulb every second. Let's try this. Example. I've got this light bulb. And uh, light's shining out all around it, right? It's leaving the speed of light, so it's, it's all moving in a big sphere. So uh, like a, a billionth of a second after the light leaves the, the filament, uh, there's a shell of light about this far out. Okay, ever-expanding sphere of light. And the power is 100 watts. And let's say the, let's say the wavelength is uh, 5.50 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. That's roughly green light. And first off, let's figure out the frequency. Well, speed of light, C, is equal to the frequency times wavelength. So the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by the wavelength 5.50 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Meters cancel, I'll get per second, cycles per second, that's frequency. And it's going to be like, I don't know, 6 times 10 to the 14th, something like that. Five, five point four five times ten to the fourteenth. So the frequency is five point four five times ten to the fourteenth hertz. Whew. So that's uh, five hundred and forty-five trillion cycles per second. The stuff we're seeing. Your eyes are pretty amazing. I mean, something fluctuating that fast, and we can decode it. And we can decode the difference between that and something very close red light or something very close blue light. It's an amazing instrument. B. Let's figure out what the energy of each photon is. The energy of each photon, I could have used the, the wavelength, but I'll just use that frequency. It's Planck's constant times the frequency, which is 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds times 5.45 times 10 to the 14th, I'll just write that as cycles per second. And that's going to be 4 times 10 to the minus 19, 6.626, 3.6. 1 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. That's 3.61 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per photon. Well, that's tiny. I mean, that's each, each photon is giving off a very tiny energy. That's less than a billionth of a billionth of a joule for each photon. But how many photons is it putting out? Because when you get right down to it every second, if it's 100 watts, 100 watts is is also, that's just 100 joules per second. So in one second, if I'm putting out 100 joules of energy, and each photon's only 3.6 times 10 to the minus 19, I must be putting out a mess of photons. So let's figure out what we are putting out. We'll go back here. So, number of photons that are being emitted. So C, N equals, what's the number of photons? Well. The total energy, and let's say we're doing it for a time of one second. The total energy that's emitted by the bulb is equal to the number of photons times the energy per photon. Right? I mean, if I got, you know, 10 to the minus 19 uh, joules per photon, and I have two of them, then I have 2 times 10 to the minus 19. It's pretty much as simple as that. Now, the total energy. Let's see, the total power of the bulb is equal to the energy over the time. So the total energy 
is equal to the power of the bulb times the time, which is 100 watts, I'm going to say joules per second, same thing, times one second. By saying joules per second, I can get my units to cancel. So I'm putting out 100 joules each second. So the number of photons, I'll just divide both sides by the energy per photon, is equal to the total energy divided by the energy per photon, which is 100 joules divided by 3.61 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per photon. You notice I called it joules per photon. I, you know it's the energy of the photon, so it seems redundant, but this way when I cancel out the joules, I'll have 1 over 1 over photons, I'll have photons, so I'll get the unit I need. And that's going to be, well, that's going to be a mess of photons. That's going to be 2.77 times 10 to the 20. Now that's, I used an average wavelength for an incandescent bulb, which puts out a broad spectrum. But uh, a 100 watt bulb in one second is putting out roughly, uh, roughly about 300 billion, billion photons every second. Pretty amazing. Let me just recap the equations we used here. For the speed of a wave, of an electromagnetic wave, we said the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. And the speed of light in a vacuum is constant. It doesn't depend on the frequency or the wavelength of the wave. They all travel at the same speed, so only the wavelength and the frequency change. The energy of each photon is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. And I could say equals, equals Planck's constant times speed of light over the wavelength from this equation. The total energy put out by, a, uh, by an emitter is equal to the number of photons, number of photons, times the energy of each photon. And the power, I'll put that over here, and the total power, this is how we get the total energy, is equal to the total energy divided by the time that you're looking at. 